What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Career Mode, this is episode number 9. We start some stuff on the back of our win over Leighton Orient, put a 3 to 4th round of the FA Cup. Obviously lost the first leg of the Carrot Cup semi away at the bridge, so lord knows I needed that one. But as you'll see with the draw, well I got lucky in the Carrot Cup, didn't face the Premier League side until the semi-final, but now... Taking on Spurs, last 32 away in the FA Cup. That is going to be tough. But it is worth pointing out, Spurs away was our first away day victory this season. So, obviously, very tough draw there. But, you know, last time we were there, we won. So, why can't Lightning strike twice? Um, following up, as you can see, Ryan Yates is coming back from injury. And uh, another loan offer for Omar Richards here. Now, I said I want to keep him in England. But I don't want to loan him to one of our rivals. Yeah, Leicester City putting a loan offer there for Omar Richards. Wouldn't need to travel far to the King Power, but we're going to keep him here for the time being. And to be fair, now that Reynan Lodi has gone back to a flat from Madrid, I might just keep him here. I'm not too sure. Anyway, first game of today's episode on the back of that win over Leighton. Right now taking on Manchester United here at the City Ground. The Red Devils facing us at home. Obviously, that loss to Chelsea in the Carabao Cup semi-final first. Leg. Still fresh on my mind because we know in the Premier League, you know, there's no way we've got any chance whatsoever of somehow having a miraculous second half of the season and qualifying for a European place. But the Carabao Cup is obviously a route to Europe. If you win it, you qualify for the Europa Conference League. But right now in the Premier League, it's been an inconsistent run of form in what has been an inconsistent season. Yes, we're by the drop zone right now, but only just. There's a cluster of teams in the second half, at the bottom half of the table, I should say, and we're, of course, one of them. Our home form this season has been better than our away form, but heading into this game at the City Ground, well, let's just say he's not showing any signs of old age whatsoever. Cristiano Ronaldo getting the start in this game absolutely ran the show. And also yesterday, what we saw with the Manchester derby, the Red Devils losing 6-3. Anthony scored a nice goal in the game, obviously. Sadly, it was just a consolation goal for the Red Devils. But in that 6-3 loss, i got to say, another hat-trick for Holland, And Foden got one himself as well. I want to ask you guys a question today. It was the Red Devils win the first game 3-0 at the city ground. And that is, who do you think will win the Premier League? Now, the Red Devils lost their first two games under Ten Hag, had that infamous 4-0 loss away at Brentford as well, but responded really well. But yesterday, their problems were laid bare. Yes, they got three goals, responded really well in the second half, to be fair, after trading 4-0 at the break. But defensively, they've been leaking a lot of goals this season. Can Manchester United be in a serious title race this season? What do you guys think? And if not... Well, can Arsenal maintain their fantastic form? Seven wins in their first eight games. Their only loss, funnily enough, coming at Old Trafford. They've won every other game. And after Manchester City's big win yesterday, yes, they have had that slip up at St. James's Park, but Haaland off to a record-breaking start on course for a record-breaking season. Can anyone stop Manchester City this season? And can Liverpool recover from stumbling out of the blocks? Yes, uh, Saturday, sorry, of course, they had that absolutely thrilling draw with Brighton. It was an incredible game. Brighton, of course, went 2-0 up. The Zerbi will be very happy with a point on his first game in charge away at Anfield, no doubt about that. But Liverpool, of course, stumbling out the blocks this season. Opening day draw to Fulham, that draw there against Brighton, losing Old Trafford as well. Of course, can Liverpool recover from a tough beginning at back in the title race? Can Chelsea, now under Graham Potter, be in a title race this season? So, yeah, my question to you today, guys, is who do you think will win the Premier League. Let me know in the comment section down below who you think will be champions come the end of the season. Will we see an end to the Guardiola Klopp titles? Will someone else win it or will it be Manchester City? Will the Gunners win their first under Mikel Arteta? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now, of course, I said at the start of the season, I think Liverpool will win the title. 
Yes, I know. So Liverpool fans will be blaming me for the poor start this season because my predictions are normally so poor. So it wouldn't be fair for me to change my prediction after their struggling start to the campaign. I do think they'll get back in it, though. You know, I really, really do. They're a quality team, Liverpool. So much resilience. Last year, don't forget, last year, there were two games away from history and winning a quadruple. Came up short in the Champions League final. And, of course, on the Premier League final day, Manchester City's famous comeback win over Steven Gerrard's Aston Villa uh, gave them the title but you know I still think Liverpool get back in the title race whether they can win it well they've put themselves in a bit of a hole to start the season off it will be tough but I, I still think they'll get back in the title race so I, I still think Liverpool can challenge for the title this year but yeah my question today guys I want to know who you think is going to win the title at the moment it's a two horse race at the top between Man City and Arsenal but who do you think will be crowned champions coming in the, the season so following game of today's episode here Newcastle United away at St James Park and what a game it was as well well, this was a thriller in the northeast. Unbelievable game. We were three one up with 15 minutes to go after Rodri fed through Taiwo. You saw Dale Fry get his first goal for the club in the first half as well. But this was one of those games where it was just so open, so end-to-end, -end, so action-packed. What we're used to nowadays in FIFA, I knew, even when we restored that two-goal cushion, Newcastle weren't going to give up. Of course, they came from behind to beat us at the city ground. Joe Willett scored in that game, scored in this one as well. 8-17 in 17 now for the Arsenal Academy graduate. It's 3-2. The question is, could we hold on to the one-goal advantage with four minutes? minutes to go. Yes, we could. In a game of firsts, Gibbs White scored his first goal. Dale Fry scored his first goal, as did this man. Serge Aurier in from Villarreal on a free transfer. Wraps it up with four minutes on the clock. There were three goals in the final quarter of an hour. We got two of them and got the win as well. 4-2 the final score. Such an open end-to-end -end game. That was a thriller. Absolutely brilliant game there, but Serge Aurier with a goal. And you would have seen him get the goal. We've changed his position to holding mid now. Serge, of course, playing right back ordinary. We changed him to play as a holding mid, and that is because of the injury problems we've had. And I, I really feel, you know, that is the best place for him to be. Obviously, on that right-hand side, you know, Jaden Bogle coming in and Nico Williams, I've split their game time this season basically in half. They've started about the same amount of games each, Nico and Jaden. Serge Aurier is higher rated than both, but ultimately, we're prioritising the youth of this team. And so, I'd much rather start either Nico or Jadon. So, for Serge, I think the best chance of him getting more game time and getting a new contract, lest we forget, at a contract at the end of the season, is if he performs well and is a solid holding mid. So far, so good. First goal for the club. So we put the dagger into the hearts of the Magpies fans. 4-2 in a big win there as we started to slip down the table a little bit in recent weeks. So, following game, as you would have seen, Joe Worrell once again saying he's wondering what's going on with the lack of transfer activity. I, I didn't plan on doing anything in this window, to be honest. Obviously, Lodi went back from his loan spell, but I, I like the team as it is right now, but I think I might need to make a new defence minded signing because once again we're getting torn apart yeah following game FA Cup fourth round away at Spurs you saw the draw at the beginning of today's episode we won here our first away day victory this season with that 1-0 rear guard display where Dean Henderson was just on one but yeah no doubt about it we snatched that victory undeservedly we probably deserved to lose that game. In the end, won it. Lightning did not strike twice. Lost the game 3-0. Romero with the first. White with the second. And Hyung Min Son with the third as well. As Spurs tore me apart in that game. Another game where we ship multiple goals. I'm definitely thinking, even with the amount of centre-halves we've got in this team, we bought in Dale Fry, I still feel like we could do with another one. I really, really do. But at the moment, the main concern I've got is in midfield. Another injury. Mangala now going down. Only with a knock, but even so, Mangala, Colback, Yates, Freud with a broken toe. We have had so many injuries for the middle of the park right now, and that's why changing Aurier's position was definitely a really good decision, no doubt about that, because at right back right now, 
Williams, Bogle, he ain't going to get a game, but it's CM. He's got no choice but to start in this team because we're running low on bodies to play in that position. So, yeah, as you'll see, a bid for Johnson had to include that there. Newcastle putting in a bid for Brennan. Of course, we turned it down. Local lad going nowhere. And this was it. Yes, poor run of form for Forrest, but this is the big one. Second leg, Carabao Cup, semi-final, Chelsea. Could we complete the epic turnaround, the epic comeback, trailing 2-0 from our visit to West London and make it to Wembley? Well, heading into the game, I was attack-minded in the first half. And we had a golden chance, 32 minutes in. Rodri down the left-hand side, rolls it back to Dennis, who goes for goal, but scuffs it a little bit and puts it wide. Top scorer in the League Cup, but failed to score at the bridge. Golden chance there, couldn't test Mendy, still 0-0. But we'd been the better team in the game. Hadn't had that many chances, but we'd looked the more creative. And nine minutes after the restart, uh, that was the moment I knew we weren't going to get back in this tie. Best chance of the whole tie. And it fell to my main man, Brian Johnson, who fluffed his lines and missed the target. Could not believe it. What a miss. I needed that to drop in and it didn't. But 12 minutes ago, we did get a lifeline. Taiwo off the bench makes it 1-0. And we are back in the tie. And a goal down on aggregate. The question is, can we keep Chelsea at bay and find that leveller? No to both. Patrick Schick, who scored the first goal at Stamford Bridge, runs clear after Berardi slips him through. The new signings on the Graham Potter combining, and that would do it. The dagger into our hearts at the Trent end. Chelsea get the draw on the night and the win over two legs. Two late goals, but sadly only one of them was ours. Oh, that Brennan Johnson miss. I'm going to be thinking about that for a long time. How did I miss the target? Goodness gracious. What a run from Forrest. We made the semis, but dumped out by last year's final, this Chelsea. And it will be a repeat of last year's final as well. Chelsea versus Liverpool in the Carabao Cup final. Who says FIFA's not realistic? Repeat of last year's. As our progress and Cinderella story ends in the semi-final. Gutted, because our chances are just didn't take them. But that will end today's episode of Career Mode, guys. Big thank you for watching. Really hope you have enjoyed. If you haven't, please do drop a like. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic day. Don't forget to comment down below who do you think will win the Premier League. I want to see how many of you think Arsenal are going to do it. Let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll see you for the next episode of Career Mode very soon.